Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we follow William Turbert of Fake Mike Real News as he attempts to stalk some cops only to get owned in the end. Blocking an entire street, trying to get this guy to violate his Fourth Amendment. You just walk up on them. You don't know what's going on here. Are you okay? I just want to make sure my man doesn't get illegally searched or anything like that. His rights are upheld. Or a woman, whoever's in there. Would you guys be able to move that car to the side? Why? No, it's my first amendment. I'll talk as much as I want. You're doing something illegal, not me. Damn it, Will! I'm trying to put in a stalkerish effect here, and you're ruining it by talking. Guys blocking the whole road here. Damn it, Will. I thought I told you to be quiet. You're supposed to be a stalker. You're supposed to be the quiet assassin. Think Jason Voorhees. Think Michael Myers. This is the violent fugitive or violent crime task force here. Have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. I bet they regret that. That's it. You're fired. Let's see if we can get Kane Hodder back in here. As for you, William, you do know that the police respond to more than just violent crimes, right? You don't have to you don't have to go to do any searches if you don't want to, ma'am. <laughs> Did you consent to the search? Yeah, I told him make a search. I'll run that way. That's what happens, man. These people are supposed to be paid to uphold your rights, not to violate them.
Could you at least move the car so the people can get through? You're, you're parked illegally, no? What's your name, badge number? Your name? Your name? Thank you. When It's your policy to identify yourself vocally with your name and be polite. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Have you read the Providence Police property? Yeah. Policy? Okay, so you know it's your policy to identify yourself vocally. You know that's a fact. I've read it. You should know that. You say you've read some things, but given from what I've seen, you haven't read jack squat about anything. Do you know, do you know the Third Amendment, sir? What's funny about somebody knowing their rights? No, you're just a funny guy. Like no one asked. You're a funny guy. I asked his badge number. You guys work for me, you're public servants. They're there for the public interest, not to serve your every beck and call. So drop this narcissistic god complex that you have, because you are not in charge of anybody. If you know your rights. Yeah. No one brought you into the situation. I brought myself into the situation. I want to make sure my servants are doing what I pay them to yeah. do. You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! You doing anything? Oh yeah, actually, I, I got a bunch can you of jobs. Back from me so I, can do it? I, I work multiple jobs, Make as a matter of fact. Away from you while you're it, can you put up? Can you put up a an investigation sign to properly delineate? Isn't that also your policy? He's laughing because I know his policy better than I do, than he does. <laughs> you serious? The Dunning-Kruger effect is strong with this one. In order to create privacy, you have to put up tape and investigation no, tape. You're, you're all set on this. What's your name, badge number, sir? Sir? I don't need to tell you. You have nothing to do with this situation. Yes, I do. We had, we, we made contact. No. We made no, contact. No, you made contact. No, no, you actually talked to me no, first. I don't you, know about that. Yes, you did. It, go look it up on my video later. It's ignorant that you guys, you know, people, people died for the Constitution. <laughs> constipation? What are you? Is, what is that? A new form of constipation? I'll take. Are you afraid? No, I'm. I'm actually. You're literally gonna drop your coffee. You're shaking. I'm afraid. Okay, well, why don't you get out the car? Are you a tough guy? Okay. Then you're. Then you're going away like a coward. You're a coward. <laughs> Oh yeah, sure, they're the cowards. Now you go enjoy your walk of shame, buddy.